welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new my name is Anna and I'm here today to talk to you about my project pan for this year I'm doing a year-long project pan I picked 24 makeup items I think it might be more than 24 my goal is to finish at least 24 makeup items this year if I surpass that great that would be amazing but um, I have kind of a plan to pan uh, it's an intro video that I will link down below and then I'm just updating this every month and by the end of the year there won't be much product left to talk about but then I will probably include something else in those videos but as for right now I have a lot of products in front of me so I'm just gonna go through them show you my progress I will show you what they looked like a month ago and some of them I won't be able to share progress on but most of them are kind of interesting progress actually so stay tuned if you want to see how I'm doing and I'll just jump right into it so I'm gonna try doing it by category starting with primer so basically like product I would put on first and uh, one of the primers I've got in this project is the Essence Hello Good Stuff Glow Primer and let me try, like this is where the windowing is. Can you see how little there is left of this? There's not much and I've started to notice that when I try pumping it out sometimes just air comes out or it just won't like dispense any product. So I'm getting really close on this one. I feel like this one might be done by my next update actually. And then I have one more primer in this and it's the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer with Niacinamide? Am I saying that right? Uh, and this currently looks like this. I haven't been using this one that much. I feel like this is a primer I mostly use if I'm going out to like a party or something. Um, but there, I've used a lot of it, like you can definitely see, and then there, there's some bubbles in here. Um, you can definitely see how much I've used and it's not that much left. So. It's going great. That one is definitely going to be finished this year, but I'm not sure how long it's going to take me. And then I have one concealer left in here because I already finished one. And the one that I have now is the NYX Bear With Me Concealer, which currently looks like this. Not much left in here either. So this is going great. I'm usually mixing this one with the next product I'm going to show you, but I haven't been using it that much this month. Uh, I usually mix it with this foundation. It's the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. And I used this today and I tried really squeezing to see where I'm at. And I'm gonna estimate it's down here. So this one's also, I would say probably like halfway done at this point. And it's a little bit dark for me. So today I actually mixed it with a white foundation instead of the concealer for some reason. And um, this is going to be better for me later on in the year when I've been on vacation and hopefully have a bit of a time. And the same goes for the next foundations actually. Uh, I have my Chanel Ultra Le Taint foundation in the shade B20. And I included this one in this project because it's my oldest it's my oldest out of my now three Ultra Le Taint foundations. I bought another one. I got a really good deal. So uh, I now have three different shades and this is the darkest and the one that matches me the worst. But I bought it after a vacation. It's a story. And um, I love it. But I can't use this on its own, at least not right now. So hopefully some point in the year this will be the perfect match for me but for now I use the other ones the most so that one is kind of on the hold a little bit and then I have my MAC Pro Longwear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation and this one I've been using quite a bit so we're now below the line that says Pro Longwear and there is not much foundation left in here look at that really happy. Uh, I love this foundation. I have you gone through at least two or three tubes of this before this one. 
but I'm um, starting to get a little bit sick of it, so it would be nice for it to be done. It's my oldest foundation that I have at the moment also. Uh, last foundation is the CoverGirl Clean Matte BB Cream, which I have not used at all this past month. But uh, there's just a tiny bit left in here. Like, I think it's mostly around the sides. So my thinking is that once this, because this is also too dark, <laughs> story of my life. So when I'm going to use this one next time, after I get a little bit of tan, I'm just going to cut into it, use it for a couple of days, it's going to be done. But it won't be until maybe end of June or something like that. So that one is on hold as well. And then let's do, let's just do setting spray. Uh, so I have two setting sprays in here. I have the Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 big bottle of this one. Impossible to show progress, but I'm using it sometimes. And then the one that I've been using the most is the Makeup Forever Mist and Fix. And it currently looks like this. So this one is almost at the halfway mark. And I'm going to be sad when this is gone, but I'm also looking forward to having this bottle emptied so that I can put this into here because this is way too big and I found a smaller bottle of this one that I had from previous, like a previous purchase uh, but the pump doesn't, no the sprayer doesn't really work on that one so that was not a good idea to put this into that bottle but here we are so looking forward to this one being done but also I love this setting spray that's that. Uh, what next? Let's do bronzer. I have two bronzers in this project. And the first one is actually also now in my That's So 2000s project pan. And it's the Bare Minerals Invisible Bronze. And you can see there's so much of the waffle pan showing now. And it's got getting hard to pick up actually. Uh, and this is also one of those products where you really have to swirl the brush and get product onto the brush. It's not very pigmented. And that means it's getting a little bit harder to use. But I tried repressing it once into something different than a waffle pan and that did not work. It got really powdery and just not great to work with. So I just have to find a way to use this up. Um, and I have a finish goal on this one for my that's a 2000s project pad as well so this will be finished but it's getting a little bit harder to do and then for my uh, Too Faced Pineapple Bronzer I actually like this is starting to get look um, really crumbly because I tried putting a little bit of this you can actually see a little bit of pan in the corner there uh, so this is a repressed version of the bronzer side. I took out the highlighter side of this bronzer completely because I didn't like it. It was way too dark and gold on my skin tone. Uh, and I just repressed the bronzer side, but uh, the repressing job, not my best. So it's really crumbly and I took, that was what I was saying before, I took a little bit of it out and put it into a very small like eyeshadow pan for traveling. And um, now it's it has a lot of kick up. I used it today and it has... I'm not sure I'm going to be traveling with this one. I, my plan was to bring this with me on vacation in June. But um, I feel like this is going to break very easily. So not sure about that. And I also have a, a contour product in here. It's the Tarte Sculpt Tape Contour. Impossible to show progress. Um, because if I actually squeeze it a lot, uh, yeah, it just comes right back into it. So, but I actually did notice that last time I took the, it has a stopper, so I took the stopper off, tried squeezing product out, and just there weren't a lot of product coming out. So let's see if I can do that right now. Yes, I can squeeze. Okay, look at this. I can just squeeze the entire tube, and product is just not really coming out onto the little cushion. So this will be done fairly soon, I think. I had no idea how long these would take me, but 
there's not a lot of product in here, so it's probably not a big surprise that it's almost gone. So that'll be fine. That will probably be my next update, maybe. Then I have two blushes. Uh, one of them is a liquid blush, and it's taking forever. It's the Rare Beauty uh, blush in Hope. Looks like this. Very pretty. I've been using this one for more than a year, almost a year and a half at this point. And there's still so much product. I'm not even close. I don't think. So, like, I can, if I swirl my little wand in here, I can get a little bit of windowing. But it's supposed to be able to go completely, like, blank, see-through. So, we'll just have to keep on going. I usually just use that one almost every day as a base for my powder blush. And the powder blush I've mostly been using is Tarte Amazonian Clay in Prim. And look at this now. Like, what? There's so much pan in here now. So, yeah, I'm feeling hopeful that I will actually be able to finish this one. It's just the perfect everyday color. I feel like it goes well with everything and um, I've been using it a lot actually in April so far. Today is April 25th, yeah. Uh, and so far in April I have used it 14 times. So I don't use it every day but I use it at least every other day or more. So progress is definitely like it's going well. Uh, what's what should I do next? I'm gonna just quickly mention that I put I put three mascaras in this project, but I actually think I want to when I tally up how many products I finished this year, I want it to be 24 excluding mascaras because they, you just go through them organically. Like I have one or two or three in this case, actually four. I have one more now open mascaras at a time and I just use them until they dry up or it's been a little bit too long. I usually toss them after like six months. I know you, they say you should do it after three months but I feel like six months is fine if they still they don't irritate my eyes or anything. So this I'm just holding on to these a little bit longer and I'm gonna change them up for something else. It's the Tarte Big Ego Mascara and the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash, which I use on my bottom lashes, love it for that. And the MAX Factor Clone Defy Mascara. And then I have um, brow products. And this is actually a little bit more exciting because this is my only empty this month. And it's my H&M Super Fine Brow Liner in the shade Dark Walnut Brow. And there's nothing. There is no way for me to oh, well, look at my nails. This is so embarrassing. I wish I had press-ons or something that I could put on so that because they look absolutely awful, but sorry about that. So yeah, uh, nothing left in this one. Completely done, which means I'm going to open my backup, which is the same uh, brow, super fine brow liner from h and but in a different shade. I'm a little bit nervous about that, but we'll see. So for my next update you will see me showing progress on this one this is brand new I'm gonna twist it up completely and this is what it looks like when it's brand new that much that's how much product there is in here not that much I've used probably 20 of these from H&M I love them you can't get them everywhere but in Norway. They are very easily accessible and they are amazing. So that's one brow product uh, and one empty this month and another one that is very close to being empty. It's this little nub of a brow product, brow pencil. And this is from Gosh Copenhagen. It's called the brow pencil I think. The shade is grey brown. Let me just show you 
this is what I have left. So I sharpened it today and I think this might have been my last time sharpening it. Maybe I can do it once more, but I really struggle to sharpen this. So I'm going to continue using it this month. It's definitely going to be done by my next update. And I've also gone through several of these uh, for this type of brow pencil, like the one that's in the actual pencil form. Uh, I like this one and the color is perfect, but I'm not sure I'm going to repurchase it again. I said that before and then suddenly I find it and I'm like, oh yes, of course, I need to have this in my collection. So it's kind of been a staple of mine for a long time. And lastly, I have some lip products. Uh, I have the Milani Fruit Fetish in Strawberry Melon, the lip oil. This is amazing. I haven't been using it uh, at all basically because uh, I think this is leaking a little bit and I don't want to travel with it so it just stands on my vanity and then I forget about it in the morning I usually just put on a little bit of lip liner so I'm gonna have to start wearing this one more I need to find a way of using this because I actually did buy a new lip oil from Fenty Beauty uh, the melon treat from Fenty skin actually this one uh, so I'm using this one instead, which is not good for my progress. But that's how life goes. When you get something new, you usually just start using it and then forget about everything else. That's why we need to not buy so many new products. And lastly, and probably the most exciting thing, I think, is my MAC lipstick in Peach Blossom. And uh, if anyone remembers what it looks like last month, like I'm putting up a picture anyway, this is what I have left. Look at that. Oh, it's so cute. It's just a little nub. I'm gonna be really sad when this is gone. It's my favorite lipstick. I use this one almost every day. Um, it's been my favorite lipstick for years. I've had several of this one as well. And um, I'm definitely going to scrape this one out and hopefully I'll get to use all of it even though I tend to not use it if I put it into a pot, but we'll see. Um, yeah, this might be an empty in my next update. I'm going to be sad to let it go, but it's also very fun to have a lipstick empty. I don't have lipstick empties every day, so that is... Uh, that's. That's all of the products and uh, I hope that you find this, um, I, I'm, I'm not going to say helpful because it's not, and it's not really educational either. Uh, my boyfriend said to me last night because he was wondering what I was doing and I said I'm watching YouTube and he said, oh yeah, you can learn a lot from YouTube. And I said, mm, I don't think I'm learning that much, I'm just looking at Project Pan videos and it's mostly just for uh, entertainment. And also, you can kind of learn a little bit about like consumerism or like, how long does it take to finish a product, stuff like that. But for the most part, I do it just because I enjoy watching Project Pan videos. I enjoy watching all of you, or I don't know, maybe, I enjoy watching people using their makeup. And um, I hope you do too. So if you did, leave a comment, hit the like button. And subscribe if you haven't already and I will so that's it I hope you enjoyed and I have so that's it I so that's it I hope you enjoyed it and that you have a lovely day wherever you are and I will see you in my next video bye